Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a Colograph, which is basically a collage of different textures that you can print. Colographs are part of printmaking. A number of techniques where you make an image onto a material called a matrix, and then you can transfer that image onto another material, usually a piece of paper, but also can be fabric and other materials. And you can usually repeat that print over and over again. So we're going to be looking into what is needed to do a colograph at home with materials that you can find lying around. For this workshop, you will need a piece of cardboard, pieces of paper slightly bigger than your piece of cardboard so that when I print it, I have this nice edge around it, a piece of fabric to clean my brushes, some water to clean your brushes, glue, it needs to be liquid glue, so Elmer's is great, some brushes, I have these brushes and this kind of like spongy brushes, paint, and the materials that you're going to glue onto your piece of cardboard. These are some of the materials that I found at home that I thought had interesting textures. I have this Brillo pad, bubble wrap. I found hair extensions, so I did this braid. I thought it would be interesting to print with. This is um, some spaghetti, rice, lentils, cardboard and you're gonna use your cardboard as your base but also you can use this texture that is revealed when you take this off could be interesting to print with foam sheets they have a smooth texture that's interesting to combine with other textures found buttons let's see how that works so yeah let's go ahead and try to do a colograph so i'm gonna start with my piece of cardboard and i'm gonna put some glue here spread it around with this spongy brush and you can add plenty of glue i'm just gonna cover one side before i do other sides i thought the cardboard texture was interesting you have to take off the top to reveal this um corrugated cardboard texture so i'm gonna have some of that here add a little more glue and put some rice here So some of this rice is not going to attach. I'm gonna do this and see what, what stayed. I'm gonna use this piece of foam here. Hmm. I'm gonna use this piece of plastic braid I'm gonna put some lentils around here. I'm just gonna have the small brushes for this. I'm getting, getting into all these little areas. And I'm gonna put this one aside and let it dry very well. So I have this um, composition that I made earlier with the same materials and this other composition. These are dry. I'm gonna put some paint on it and see how they print. I used some of the spaghetti and kind of organized it like this. I used the braid here and it sticks out a little. I'm just gonna let it stick out, I don't care. The rice going into the lentil area here. And then I have the bubble wrap here and I put this button. And then this other one I did with corrugated cardboard and foam board. Let's do some glue in this area. Yellow in this area. Okay, and then now I'm gonna put my piece of paper on this, try to align it somehow, and put another piece of paper on top in case that the paint goes through. I'm gonna press with the palm of your hand. And now let's see what my print looks like. Ta da! And now I'm gonna do this other one. So I'm gonna use a palette for this one so I can dilute it a little more before I put it on the colograph. And I'm gonna add some water to this. Okay. 
and then for the cardboard part. Okay, so I'm gonna take two pieces of paper here and then I'm gonna put another one so I don't ruin my print. Remove the extra paper, you can see already. And then the reveal moment. Ta-da! That's a cute print. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you had fun learning about color graphs. Please share your creations with the museum online. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.